Hi everyone, I am Shubham Garg and welcome back to this lecture series of DSCH. So as I told before that in today's video we are going to see how to create a 3 is to 8 decoder using two 2 is to 4 decoders. So in previous video uh, we have made the symbol for 2 is to 4 decoder and we have used the enable signal as well. Alright, so if you haven't watched the previous video, uh, please watch the previous video uh, and learn how to make a decoder and uh, how to uh, make a decoder using enable signal and then create a symbol of the decoder because we are going to use that decoder symbol in this video. Alright, so first of all I will show you the simulation of the circuit we are going to make now. So uh, as you can see on your screens this is the circuit uh, that is for 3 is to 8 decoder which we are going to make and you can see here on the left these are uh, the inputs that is input 1, 2 and 3 and these are the outputs that is 8 outputs since it is a 3 is to 4 decoder. So we can see here uh, that uh, it is working when all the inputs are 0 this LED is 1 when let's say this input is 1 this LED glows all the other are zeros. Similarly when 2 inputs are 1 this LED glows. Similarly for 3 inputs this LED glows like this. Basically only one LED glows that time all the other, all the other outputs are 0. Alright so we can check any all the cases. Alright, so let me just show you the truth table of a 3 is to 4 decoder. Okay, so I have already searched that on the internet. So here you can see that uh, these x, y, z, these are the three inputs and these are the output that is D0 till D7. Alright, that were represented by LED in our uh, simulation. So you can see here at a time only one LED is glowing, all the others are 0. So uh, in this case when all of these are 0, D0 was 1 and all other are 0. Similarly in this case uh, this D1 is 1 all the other are zeros. Similarly uh, till uh, this uh, in this way uh, it will go till D7 is 1 and all others are 0. So this is how a 3 is to 8 decoder works. Now uh, let us come back to circuit and here what we are doing is actually if you remember in the previous video we have uh, used this enable. Okay, we, why we have added this enable? First of all, it works as a control signal. That's true. But now the main purpose was that in this, uh, while creating this 3 is to 8 decoder, uh, we will be needing three inputs. All right. So in 2 is to 4 decoder, there were only two inputs. So in order to make that three inputs, we use this enable signal as a control. Uh, that is the control signal. So now what here, what I'm doing is that uh, you see, I'm connecting this A and B. Uh, to input 1 and input 2 and this A and B I am connected to this A and B. So that's why both these A and B becomes a single input. That is uh, both these A are same and these B's are same. Now while connecting the enable, okay, what will happen, what is happening is the moment I connect this enable here, uh, I need to use an inverter. Okay, why because uh, whenever I am going to make this enable high, I need to make sure that only one signal is uh, transmitted here that is uh, this enable should be zero otherwise this will act as a fourth signal all right and otherwise uh, when this is zero this enable should high and that previous one should be zero so because otherwise that will have act as a different signal so uh, and uh, for 3 to 8 decoder we only need three signals so that's why we connected this way and we use an inverter in this uh, in the front of this enable all right, so uh, this is how we need to make the connections. So uh, I hope it is clear. So let us delete everything and let's make the connections from scratch. So I'm just going to delete everything. And now, first of all, we are going to uh, insert our symbol. Okay, uh, just go to insert, use a symbol. And we are going to insert this two is to four decoder symbol. Now I'm going to make a copy of this symbol. So here, this is the second 2 is to 4 decoder symbol. And now, I'm going to add the switches. That is, these A and B, and this one for enable, all right? So here, I'm going to add this as well. That is an AND gate. So now I'm going to connect these uh, switches that is A and B according to the connections. So here we have A 
and here we have B uh, like there A and B and now while connecting this enable so this one will be uh, after NOT gate and this is before NOT gate so these are our connections for the inputs that is A, B and enable and now uh, we are going to connect the LEDs that is this is for Y0 this is for Y1 for Y2 and Y3 similarly for these four inputs now I am going to make the connections for these LEDs So uh, this is how the connections are made. Now let us run the program and try the simulation. So on running the simulation we can see when all the inputs are 0 this LED is glowing all the others are not glowing. Similarly when any input is 1 uh, and we can actually try all the other combinations see at a time only one LED is glowing. Alright so this is how a 3 to 8 decoder works and you can see how we use uh, this enable signal for the working of this 3 to 8 decoder. Uh, to make a 3 to 8 decoder using two 2 is to 4 decoders all right so this is how we can develop a 3 to 8 decoder similarly we can go for a, a higher order decoder etc that is 4 is to 16 decoder and all uh, so that's up to us um, we can make it in a similar way so this is all for this video uh, from the next video we will be covering the encoders and we will be doing uh, encoders the same way we did decoders alright so this is all for this video see you guys in the next video